This video mechanics gram will focus on fair and foul responsibilities in multi-member crews. In crews of three, four, or six, the plate umpire will be responsible for fair foul coverage on all batted balls stopping short of or fielded in front of both first and third base. Our wing umpires will be responsible for all batted balls bounding on the ground or in the air from the cutout and beyond. However, if a wing umpire abandons the line to get out of the way, the plate umpire will assume all fair foul responsibilities along that line. First video example will illustrate a ball fielded in front of third base. You will see that because this is fielded in front of third base, the call then belongs to our plate umpire. You see our umpire down here in the bottom of the screen pointing fair as it is the plate umpire's call. Here's a look at it in slow motion again. As the ball is fielded in front of the bag, the fair foul decision belongs to the plate umpire. The next example will have another ground ball down the third base line. However, this one bounds beyond third base. And because of such, this fair foul decision belongs to the wing umpire. Here's another example of a ground ball hit down the third base line. Because this one is fielded beyond third base, it belongs then to our third base umpire. And you'll see that our third base umpire rules accordingly on this play. As an aside, we've got great distance by our plate umpire to trail the batter runner and proper use of eyes by U1 to make this call. Here we have a fly ball down the first base line to which our first base umpire goes out on. You'll see that this is not only his priority, but he does a great job to get his belt buckle on the line to position accordingly for this fair foul catch no catch decision. The last example is the most difficult of them all. You'll see a ground ball down the third base line, to which then our third base umpire attempts to move out of the way. Briefly and subtly, this action caused a little bit of confusion by those on the field. Remember, if the third base umpire in this case decides to move or abandon the line, the call then belongs specifically to the plate umpire. As the plate umpire comes out, you'll see that he begins to point in the direction of fair territory, to which then our third base umpire also does this as well. And here we have two calls on this play, a situation we would like to avoid.